Hey, what's going on, guys? IO Studios here for another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a um, crystal material and a scene for it. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to open up a, um, a crystal model that I found online. Just Google um, like crystal model online, and you will find something. So, I'm just going to put these both into uh, here. Um, connect objects and delete, and we'll call this crystal. And you can find crystal models online um, anywhere, or you can not apply this to a crystal model, do whatever you want. And we're actually going to scale it up a bit. Uh, we're going to scale it up about 100. Um, 100 by 100. There we go. So we scaled it up a bunch. Uh, you can find crystal models online for free. Just search um, free crystal model online. Anyway, um, so we got our crystal model. Now, um, the next thing we're going to do, and we're going to delete this default material, <clears throat> um, we're going to head up to our octane, render settings, and we're going to get a few things out of the way. So, first thing we're going to do, path tracing. Um, Max samples, yeah, whatever. Um, diffuse depth, we're not going to need much of that. Let's put it like that. Probably four for a scene. Um, just this tweaks per scene, but just for this scene, we're not probably just going to do four. Um, the specular depth, yeah, yeah, 15 is fine. Um, and I'll turn my parallel samples and my max tile samples up. Um, and, okay, that's good enough there. And we're going to go post, enable. We're going to bring up the bloom and the glare a bit. Um, ray amount. Six maybe and glare blur all the way up, and uh, render priority high. Um, and we'll and we'll change the um, the post processing a bit later. But for now, we're gonna do that. Okay, we'll start our octane render. Um, let's see here. Okay, cool. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make the uh, material. So shader, C for the octane octane material. We're gonna apply that to our crystal. Gonna open it up. Um, we'll go to our node editor and set the material type to uh, specular. Okay. Um, our uh, index here, we're going to set that to 2.4. That's the refraction for um, crystals. Um, let's see here. What we'll do is we'll go look at our um, reflection. Ah, the reflection is good. Um, the roughness, we're going to grab a float texture, drop that into our roughness. And we don't need a lot of roughness, just a very small amount of roughness. Um, we'll add a bit of realism to it. And there we go. And, um, you know, if you want, you can leave it at that. Uh, I'm going to make it a bit more than that, though. I want to make this thing a bit spicy. Um, we're going to grab some, we're going to grab an RGB spectrum. So we'll grab a couple of these. And we're going to go to Octane Material. And, um, well, first we're going to add Dispersion. Actually, we'll grab another Float Texture. Can we, can we change the Dispersion? No, we can't. Okay, we'll just change the Dispersion. We'll bring that up just a bit. We'll just a bit of Dispersion. Uh, dispersion coefficient. Yeah. Let's see how does that look? Okay. Yeah, uh, a bit's a bit's good. Um, I'll do. Yeah, just a bit like that. Um, let's see how does that look? Already looking pretty good. Let's see, I want to bring up that dispersion coefficient maybe a bit. If I bring it up a lot. It might be a bit too much. Eh, just like that's probably good enough. We'll, we'll tweak that later. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna click on our material here. We're gonna go to our um. So that here. I'm trying to find it. Medium. Scattering medium. We'll drop that there. Okay. Um, the absorption and the scattering. We're going to drag the RGB spectrums into there. And the first thing we're going to do, um, we're going to grab our absorption. And actually, no, no, here. Go back to your scattering medium. We're going to decrease the density of the absorption a lot because I don't want a lot of density on it. Just like, yeah, just like that's good. And we're going to make this a colored, um, we'll make a nice um, blue crystal, I think. All right, just like that. How does that look? Um, nice. It, it tints it a bit of blue. It's not it's not much, but it tints it blue a bit. And the scattering, um, we're going to do uh, also blue scattering. Maybe a darker blue scatter? Let's scatter a bit darker blue. Um, maybe turn up the density a bit more. That's too much. We'll do just like just like that. It's a very small amount. Um, scattering. I don't turn up the face a bit. Um, and that's pretty much all we need to change there. I, I like that. Um, now the next thing we're gonna do, the reflection. We're gonna actually grab an RGB spectrum as well. Plug that into our reflection. I think we're gonna color the reflection a bit. Maybe maybe just just a bit, uh, ever so slightly. Let's see if I do a lot. Is that okay? A lot is a bit too much. So we'll do. Um, 
I'll do a little bit just like that. And that's a nice bit of reflection there. Um, and I think that's pretty much all we're going to change there. Um, yeah, I don't need to change too much here. I'll maybe play around with the, the density a bit here. Uh, okay, so that's that. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make our environment. So, tags, uh, or no, tags, what am I saying? Uh, we're going to go to our objects here. I'm going to have an HDR environment and a texture environment. So, texture environment, we'll look at that first. We're going to make it completely black. And we're going to make it the type visible environment. So, the visible environment. And then the other one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use image texture here. Um, we're going to load up an HDR. So, HDR, sky, cloudy. Yeah, it's just an HDR gone online. You can get free HDRs online. Not that hard to find. Um, and here, if I just make this, um, this top one not visible, you'll see here. So it's just like a nice HDR here. That's what we're going to use to light it. Okay, make it visible again. Um, now, we're going to brighten this a decent amount. Um, power. So here, if I do a lot, is that um, that's okay? I want a really glowy crystal. That may not be what you want, but... And, you know, you can change that to as you, what you want. How's this look? Yeah, it looks looks decent. Um, maybe turn off the power a bit more. Well, actually, you know what we'll do? We'll turn down the power a bit, and we'll go to our octane settings, and we'll go to our post-processing. And, okay, more bloom. Lots of glare. I want a lot of glare on this crystal, so turn that up. Um, ray amount, yeah, we'll turn that up all the way, sure. Um, glare angle, okay, that really doesn't make a difference, really. Got that, and we're going to actually go back to our material here. And we're going to do a few things. First thing we're going to do, we're going to make the roughness, a, we're going to make it have a bit more roughness. Just like that, yeah. And the scattering medium. Um, volume step length. If I turn that down, does that... Ah, uh, we'll just change that a bit. Um, phase, yeah, whatever. We'll just change these a bit. Um, see if we get better results. I think that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, this looks pretty good. I think. We'll probably leave it at that. Um, what else can change here? Medium. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all we need to do, really. Um, oh, fake shadows. Yeah, it's always good to enable that. In fact, they may have brightened it too much. Now we need to maybe darken the this a bit. Okay. Darken that. Let's see here. That looks okay. Maybe grab the post. Turn down the glare a bit. Maybe the glare and the, the bloom. Uh, it's fine. You can you know you can tweak that if you want to. Um. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with this. It looks good. Um, happy big crystal. And, um, yeah, you guys just play with those values a bit and get whatever you want. Um, I think what we'll do, the last thing we'll do, finish this thing off, we'll, um, is we'll add a few more crystals to this formation, or we'll make it formation. Um, let's see here. So it's good to have multiple of them. Alright, we'll see here. few more on the other side. Just like that. And maybe scale up the center one a bit. After we've added another one. I'm adding a lot here, uh, so it might be a bit excessive if you just want um, if you just wanted the material, then that's that's pretty much all we're gonna do with the material, so you can leave now if you were just here for the material. <laughs> anyway, we'll do that. Uh, open up this crystal. And set the size to uh, 120 by 120 by 120. Actually, we'll make this middle one, I don't know, 140. There we go. Now we have a fairly um, a fairly nice crystal formation. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys later. Bye.